So now in an earlier video, we had the uh, light dependent resistor there. It's wired basically as a light sensor. As you can see there, it got dimmer, the voltage went down, it got brighter, the voltage went up. Here I got my headlamp, we can get it really bright. And if I get the light on it right, we got about uh, five volts right there. Problem was in that uh, earlier video, the uh, headlamp battery was dead. That's because when you leave the battery in, it drains it over time. So I grabbed uh, this flashlight and you can see that we got a problem there. This flashlight, the LED is not on steadily. It's oscillating on and off, uh, probably uh, much quicker than that. And uh, so it's picking up uh, jumps on there. So this video, we're gonna smooth out that voltage a little bit. So our quick solution to uh, smooth out that voltage a little bit is with a smoothing capacitor. It'll actually smooth it out uh, quite a lot. So I'm just using 47 uh, microfarad because it's not uh, blocking too much of what we view right there and uh, so we'll plug it in. So higher value will uh, smooth things out better. Also the higher value resistor you got on the low side will smooth things out better. That's because bright light falling on the light dependent resistor will cause the capacitor to charge uh, pretty quickly. And then uh, when it gets darker, then the current's gonna flow out of the capacitor into the resistor. Remember, our whatever we are given that signal to has to take as close to zero current as possible. But in any case, it will discharge through the resistor, so it won't be perfectly smooth, but uh, the more rapid that we get those uh, impulses to raise the voltage to the voltage divider voltage, the uh, more often it will top off the capacitor and a more steady voltage you will have. So now we come back to the circuit. Uh, black or ground is to the nega supply or ground. The red, we're gonna connect to where the uh, voltage divider voltage we wanna measure is right there. And there you can see it should be the same voltage it was before without the uh, capacitor with the uh, lamp, as long as the lamp's pointing in the right spot. With the uh, headlamp that I have, there you can see we already got a smooth voltage with uh, that headlamp when I got the light on it good. Uh, but again, I left the batteries in it for a long time and it drains batteries over time. So I used a flashlight in the uh, recent video and you're gonna see that uh, before it was bouncing way up and down. Now it's still bouncing up and down a little bit, but not near as bad. We smoothed it quite a bit. We could do more, but uh, that's good enough for this video. So I hope you enjoyed.